Hello, my beautiful people. It's Sherry Moulton back with another video. I hope you enjoyed Sunday's bling bling. I went out of my comfort zone and did some gold. I'm more of a silver girl, and but I like it. It turned out amazing. And um, yeah, so with that being said, today I'm gonna do a Dutch pour. I'm gonna do a split colored canvas and that's the one color I'm excited. I had this and I thought I'm gonna do something different and that's what it is. So I'm gonna get everything um, flooded, which just means I'm gonna put paint on my canvas and we'll go through all the colors. I'll be right back. Okay, I am ready. We are base coated do you like the color i love color um so i love this i purchased this i'm pretty sure this was um one of the tester pods i bought for my cousin's um bling bling video i will link pretty sure i did the video for that one um it is a bear or burr however you want to say it it's marquee and this one is yeah top tomato so this is i did this in an amazing bling bling for my cousin awesome color awesome awesome color and this thing keeps mm, my canvases are level but it keeps um this one keeps i keep losing it which it it par it don't matter but i'm gonna Pour a little white there just so I have that definition. I just did it too. All right, I did a quick little torch and there we go. I haven't picked colors out. So I thought we'll go together. <sighs> I don't know, if, can you see my trolley? I've got my trolley, all of my colors here. I am going to do my Love of my life, I think Peblio Studios Iridescent Green Yellow will be in that mix. I am thinking um, decisions, oh my goodness, and it's more of a red orange, so I'm trying to think of colors. Let's do, um, oh, I want to do the Grumbrocker. Um, such big decisions. Let's do. Artist Loft Metallic, oh my goodness, Sherry, Artist Loft Metallic Blue. Let's get in, um, let's do a Pebdio Studio Iridescent, oh yeah, Iridescent um, Gold. I'm having brain farts today. I'm trying to think, I don't know if I want Oh, I gotta do a, another, um, let's do a light, let's, we'll get a glam dust in here. We will do, um, let's do the blue, the sapphire blue, deco art sapphire blue glam dust. Mm, I don't know, red, no. Well, we might as well go for that Pepto Studio Iridescent Blue Green and Big Decision. Big Decision. Actually, let's try this color shifting white flash. All right, those are all the colors I'm going to use because I don't want it to get all muddy. I'm almost tempted. We'll do the Grumbrockers Thalo Blue. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm kind of excited and nervous all at the same time because it's such a bright color. And I didn't go through my color canvases. My center one is a 12 by 12 gallery wrapped dollar store canvas. And I love, like I said before, I love that dimensional um, aspect of it and then the two ends are the artist loft 
two in a pack, 10 by 10 <clears throat> canvases. Oh my goodness, I'm still picking gold glitter off from the other day. All right, let's get this started. We gonna, I'm gonna move my fluorescent red. I'm gonna start with my, again, the dominant color. You do not want the color to be dominant. You put it first. Grumbrucker's Thalo Blue. We will do Peblio Studios Iridescent Green Yellow. Oh, I just love this color. I have put this, I think, in every painting I have done for the past year. Um, let's do the, yeah, Peblio Studio Iridescent Gold. And I'm trying to get, oh, there we go. I want to get over that line. We will do um, oh, I got to do something that's not metallic. What do we got here? Try art ultramarine blue with iridescent medium. Ow! Oh, that was a piece of glass on my foot. I find if there's too many metallics, it doesn't quite turn out right sometimes. Let's get this um, folk art color shifting. This one's white flash. It might not do anything, but it's a color. We will do the glam dust and then Oh my goodness. There's something in my bottle. I don't want to have to take the lid off. There we go. And I'm going to remove that. And that. I'm going to have my own nails done with this color. And we will do the iridescent Peblio Studio iridescent green, blue green. I'll do this quick because we're all woo, running off the canvas. All right. Torch, 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 where'd I put you? Over here. Give it a good quick, get, burst all those bubbles. All right, and I'm thinking I'm gonna put a stick under this one because it's, I want it to, All right, I see a couple of little things. I want these gone before I start. And a little bit of color. I'll have to show this to my cousin. You never know. She might want this after it's done. <laughs> All right, okay. Oh, the scary part. All right, here we go. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go down and out and down and out. Yeah, it was actually, but I need to, anyway, here we go. Oh my God, I love it. Oh 
my, my. That is amazing. Now I might, nope. I'm going to blow some of this red over here to make it match over there. goodness I was not sure about the color look at that Ooh, I'm doing a happy dance this is cool actually I am extremely happy you know sometimes a plan you never know and like I said you watch me pick my colors out I try not to pick them out before I come down because to me that's the fun part and you don't know what you're doing and wow I don't know. Just too bad that this didn't happen over here. Let's see. We'll bring my torch and see if it'll do anything. I'm going to try and do maybe this. I don't I don't want that to move though. All right. You know what? I'm not touching it. The only thing I might do is in here, because there's, you know, there's color under that white. And here. And here. I'm going to try and blow this and see if I can get without my stuff going in my painting. Hoping if that white might. Oh my gosh, guys. This color is so freaking vibrant. It is craziness. Now, um, it is a, um, a semi-gloss enamel paint. Oh, I didn't realize it was enamel. Um, and I added an extra. When I mixed it up, I did one of these of the paint, three of these of my Floetrol, and one and a half water. So I did extra because normally I do one of these of paint, two of these of Floetrol and one of water, but I did a whole extra one because I wanted it to flow a bit. I'm seeing some stuff and I want to make sure that there's no thing there. Oh my gosh, I'm just, this is crazy. Okay, I'm going to turn you off and bring you down so you can see this because I'm impressed. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, we are down for the close-up. I'm hoping this don't come off too much. I stuck a stick under there. I'm hoping, like, look at those colors. I just, I, love this color and like I said before you look back at my painting that has been in every I'm 100% sure every painting that I've done I just the color it gives is just crazy craziness and I love how it it kind of when it blends on into this see this is I've been scrape in it hoping it's not gonna well I'm impressed hopefully it'll be dry before I have to put this up if not I will show you in Friday's video so with that being said my beautiful people oh my goodness I am very very happy um, yeah see look I've got my 
paints all organized. This is all my Dutch pour paints. Um, my trolley that I bought. So I'm excited about this because this is cool. So anyways, so with that being said, I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday. Um, if you like the video, please give it a, a sore thumbs up. <laughs> oh my goodness. I have a week, guys, and hopefully I'll get something done. Um, yes, so if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed, please, please subscribe. And hit that bell so you get notifications of my next video. And in my description box, I have all of my products listed. I also have my um, Facebook page. I have my Amazon shops. I have um, my link to Laura's Art Corner. And please do use my um, discount code, all capital letters, Sherry Moulton, 10%, and get 10% off your order. And my PayPal link is in there. So with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. And I hope I'll put a clip at the end with this. Love you guys. Bye. Hello. It's been a couple of days. I just wanted to show you this dry. It's funny because they both shifted. But they both shifted the same way. So it looks actually kind of cool. And I love the color. It's just, again, it's something different. But I love this color. Very cool. And then I've been busy varnishing. This is my one, two, three, four, my five piece um, beach themed. This is an oldie. I varnished it and then I varnished the five piece I did the other day. So I've been down here doing a bit of varnishing. So yeah. I just thought I'd show you this while it was dry. There you go. I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.